Today I want to present to you fermented foods and here's my platter, my beautiful platter of vegetables and I will now cut them up, prepare them, show you how to do it and that will allow you to have a good storage of fermented vegetables that you can add to every meal of the day if you like to. Look at this beautiful feast of fresh vegetables. We have these wonderful daikon radishes and they are really specially beautiful, mm, healthy. And then we have some red cabbage and we have cilantro and we have some ginger and we have organic carrots and wonderful red beets that add a rich and satisfying color to everything as well as tons of nutrients. Red beets are really good for us, especially in the raw fermented state. Then our dear friend garlic, <laughs> forever present or at least in my kitchen. And then uh, red pepper and scallions. And here's the Himalayan sea salt that we use for the mixture. So now I'm going to cut all these vegetables up and put them in a bowl and then I'll sprinkle maybe a teaspoon of sea salt over them and then I let them sit and do their work by themselves. Like I put them into glass jars, put the lids on tight, keep them in a fairly cool place but not a cold place so that they can do their thing. The juices will be drawn out and every day we shake up the jars and then after three days the vegetables will be edible and delicious and we should preferably have a bite or two with every meal that we have because it aids in digestion and that's what we all seem to be needing these days. I guess it's from overload, right? I'm just chopping up these beautiful daikon radish. Yes. And they are great. Daikon is really useful for diminishing phlegm in the body. And we all know from our dairy consumption, the cafe latte, the this and that, we do have a lot of phlegm. And so daikon radish is just a gift. And you should use it if you can. So now we have the whole bowl together. And I will go in there and mush it all up. I hope you can see this. See how the beautiful colors are. It's all coming through. And because of the quantity of how much it is, I am going to use a full teaspoon of salt and then I'll mix it up some more. So I am cooking from the old school and I know that this is a teaspoon. So here we go. I'm putting it in. You're watching me, see? And then I mix it some more. And before I actually transfer it to my jars, I will let it sit for a little while because it will draw the fluid out instantly. And I'm actually sort of rubbing it a little bit, you know, to spread the salt about. Mm -hmm. And because I am the kind of cook that I am, I can see that I need just a little bit more. There we go. Yeah. And one other little thing is that if you like a little spice, not everybody does, you can certainly sprinkle a little bit of cayenne pepper all over it if you like it with a little bite. But if you don't, this is how you have it and that's all it needs. Preparation finished. You can have a fermented food party. You can invite your friends and cut up vegetables together and everybody gets to take home some jars. It's really fun. So I hope you enjoy. There you go.